One love family, what's happening? Back again, here to bring that strong, powerful love, wisdom, with a little bit of education. Thanks to my creator, and uh, may my dad rest in peace. Thank you for the spirit that he given me and my brother Caddius. And welcome, my kings and queens, my leaders, my lions, for joining in. And how are you? Where are you spiritually? And do we do spiritual checks on ourselves? Excuse me for a minute. Let me adjust this. Okay. I had to adjust my mic for a minute. Where are we spiritually? Where are you spiritually? And do you do spiritual assessments on yourself to make sure you straight spiritually? Because, and I don't want to act like I know everything. I don't know everything. But one thing I do know is where I am spiritually. And I know a lot of people probably ask, like, E, why you do this? Why why is he making these these videos? Why is he sending out messages? Why is he going on these rants? And why is he recording? Because I can. And I have love. And it's no different than people posting all the time and posting different quotes and, and putting their truth. So I'm putting my truth. But I'd rather be vocal. Because I've been quiet for too long so now i'm talking welcome to the new lion ebx and you can't be spiritually dumb you have to be aware of everything and you can't pray everything away there's a time when action needs to be taken that's why i never come down on people who protest or judge anybody who protests once something i've I've said and will always say everybody plays a part. There's there's all different kinds of puzzle to the pieces. There's not no special kind of people to get all of us to a liberation point where we fight and we get to where we need to get and keep that shield up. And we have to I always say it, you gotta, the only way to stay strong spiritually is to study yourself and study everything around you. Literally, I mean like study people, things, your job, uh, everything. And that's how you stay spiritually rooted and spiritually protected. And if you're not looking on the outside, if you stay within, you, there's nothing no one can do to you. Don't be a sheeple. Don't be an independent thinker. Don't don't be a sheep. I wouldn't want to be a sheep. And this manipulation has been in our culture. And I'm talking about our, my people has been in our culture for decades, for years on end. And it's been in this belief system and this forgivingness and this docileness and the dumbing down has been manipulated us and put into our our thoughts for so long and it's going to be so hard for people to wake up and really truly go within themselves and stop looking on the outside for everything and i said it before and i say it again nothing is coming to save you people don't want to take accountability for themselves they want to use everything around them they don't want to because one thing i know to be true i don't care what god you pray to you can pray to you blue in the face, but when you at home by yourself, looking in the mirror, only you know the real truth. And a lot of people know the real truth, but they're afraid of it. What are you afraid of? What, you know, people, and, and I'm not putting nobody down, and I'm not coming across like I'm this tough guy, because I didn't used to like to fight, and I used to be real quiet, and you know, just didn't like to do, wasn't, wasn't aggressive like I am now and not put nobody down but you have some people out that claim to be so tough and so hard but when it comes to speaking the truth and liberation where are they you know it's like people are afraid you know let's 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 start a dialogue let's start a discussion that's why I call it EBX discussion I'm not afraid let's do this because I'm going to, when I transition, I'm going to transition a soldier. And I, I'm still going to be graceful and have love and still uplift. And sometimes I'll even be 
be happy and so i'll have a sense of humor from time to time but it's like i want and something i want to say my life is going pretty good right now nothing is really bad happening i mean it's not perfect i'm not living in sunshine so i have no reason i have nothing behind me doing these talks and these videos is like not nothing going on where i'm ranting because something going because my life is good i don't have to do this but something I've always said, what you put out is what you get back. You never know who you touching. You never know. There's millions of people out there and you got a lot of people that's lost and trying to find themselves. And some have found out the truth and don't know where to go. And, and because they've had us doc, um, doctrinated for so long, uh, worshiping their God and, and the people who are corrupt and they know who they are. The people who are corrupt have used Christianity to commit evil, to do evil things throughout the decades. Christianity has been attached to so many bad things. It's, you got murderers that that kill in the name of the Bible. You know what I mean? It, that's why Christianity is, is cursed. That's the, why it's the way it is, because it was a fake foundation to begin with. That's why it's the way it is, because... It's, it's not a spirituality. It's not a spirit. It's a religion. It's not nothing that gets deep into your soul. It doesn't get embedded into you. It only goes to your head and it stops. It doesn't get down in your spirit. And for those who think it does, that's your spirit. All Christianity is is a feel-good religion. That's all it is. And I don't mean to, to keep beating up on Christianity. And I don't mean, well, I don't say I don't mean to offend people. The truth is going to offend, so I expect that. But that's because cause I used to fight it too when, when I wasn't aware and wasn't awake and didn't go in to see how the Bible came to be and how Jesus Christ came to be. And when I found that stuff out and when I found out that this religion was made on the backs of our ancestors, they got beat, raped, living in, living in these dungeons they used to have over in uh, parts of Africa that they build churches over. And these poor people had to live in waste and they had um, feces up to their ankles. These people had to live in this. You know, this is how they lived. This is how they were treated. And and we had to tell them, to. we had to forgive them for that. I mean, we were treated like straight slaughtered dogs, bro. And like I said, I don't dwell in the past, but I don't forget. Because put yourself in that in that situation. What would you, how would you feel? If you was sitting in your house having dinner with your family and some some corrupt slave wanted to just bust into your house, take your kids, take your daughter, rape your wife in front of you, rape you too, and just totally humiliate your whole family and just demasculate the man and just that's that's what corrupt people are about. Demasculating, you know, dumbing down the man, you know, get getting rid of the strong man. And I say the B-L-A-C-K man. Because even though the the queen is the root to the to the black family, is a strength, but we need both. We we definitely need the woman. We need we need the black woman because she's the life. She's the teacher. She the ones that put everything into the seed before it was born. And and the black man also. We need both. Even if you're not together under the same roof, still fight for each other. And it's especially my, I'm for my black family. I'm for all humanity. But I will never, I'm mostly for the truth. And it's just that the black family comes under that umbrella of the truth. Because we've been beat down for so long. And I still got love. I haven't changed. Um, I'm not bitter. I'm just, I'm more aggressive now. And. When we stop living in deep times and, when, and I see people stop dying and getting killed and, and, and um, corrupt people out there, is, I mean, just, I wish they would just leave the public alone. They just We just want to live. That, and that's all. I just want to live. If it was nothing going on and all these deep things happening, all these wrong stuff and people dying and getting killed, I wouldn't have anything to talk about. I wouldn't talk about none of this stuff. But there's people out there that don't have the mental capacity to deal with things and that's where i come in and me and many other brothers and sisters like me that's where we come in we're gonna teach you education and we're gonna 
say things to inspire you, lift you up, keep you lifting and elevate you. That's what I'm about. That's the root of my agenda is to elevate you, lift you and make you aware of reality. You know, playing games is over with, you know. I'm at a I'm at a king place. I'm at, I'm at a new place. I refuse to be no sheeple. Teach your kids spirituality. Teach your kids spiritual warfare. Let your daughters know that they they are queens. They're more than just what they see in the media. They're more than just pics and and being getting likes and reactions on uh, social media. More than just that. Get away from these distractions. And there, it's like I've said, the players change, but the game remains the same. And the distractions never go anywhere. It's just change up. It's just new dynamics. And distractions are at an all-time high. And I am not distracted. I'm on the outside looking in. But I love my people. And the things I found, I, I, excuse me, the things I've, researched and, and found out really made me have a deep a genuine love and passion for my people because I, I know why we the way we are and I'm still working on myself also but um now I'm at a I'm no longer trying to heal I'm healing but I'm trying to heal others too because I'm on that, that hole almost closed I'm on that wound is almost closed I'm 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 damn near healed and I'm going to heal my brother. I'm, I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm, I'm going to keep on fighting. I don't care. You know, this is bigger than me. It's not about me. One must reach. One must know oneself and help everybody else. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to drill that into my, my, my leaders. So don't be a sheeple. And get out of this programming. When you get home to yourself and you ain't around nobody else, look yourself in the mirror and really do some deep thinking about where we at and where we going. And be thankful that we're here. And stop with the damn judging. Because I'm not judging anyone. But I'm about bringing us together and keeping us strong, focused, clear, and aware. And my, my females, be a lion. A lioness. And to my brothers, be a lion. Teach our, teach our youth the strong way. Don't teach them the soft, floating on the cloud way. Especially for our, our young queens, our young females. Teach them about spiritual warfare. You go in because the body always follows the mind. Where the mind goes, the body goes. So that's that's how the, 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 the corruption of people that want to keep the boot on our people will not be able to with our mind. That's... That's how they, they beat us. They study our mind, study their mind. That's the only way, that's the best way to win spiritual warfare. You study your enemy. You study them just like they study you. You know, you, you, watch, you watch their news, but you analyze it. You, you watch it, you watch TV, but you ain't into the TV. You know what I'm saying? You, you're watching it, but you're not in it. You're looking from the outside. And... You have to be have to be real, very. That's why I say you have to keep your spirit strong. Cause different things that you will see will shake you up, and it will make you paranoid. You have to be careful. And I do not think that African Americans are at high risk for the VIRUS. We all are at risk. That is not that is not a fact to me. And, and I'm sorry. I just I'm not going with that. And most people who are not right spiritually will see something like that, like, oh man, we high risk. Oh, what are we gonna do? No, that's just another ploy to keep us divided. As usual, business as usual for the corrupt. So I'm gonna be a lion. And none of this crap we can't take with us. So I'm gonna do what I what, what I gotta do while I'm here. And I know I'm just speaking and it's it's a lot more I do do. Just because you don't see me doing it don't mean I'm not doing nothing. And I give back to the universe through other people. Like giving to homeless, doing nice stuff at work just being polite to people that's how you give back just it starts with you like michael jackson said the man in the mirror you might can't change everybody else but you can change yourself and you can be an example and that's what i'm gonna be but i'm gonna be a strong example i'm not that soft eric i used to be i'm the king ebx so i'm here i'm here to lift whoever want to be lifted if you want to stay dumbed down stay asleep so one love
And remember, this is all out of love. So I'm keeping it 100 from here on. So thank you, leaders, for joining in. That's my positive and real thought. Enjoy the rest of your day. One love. Peace, love, and power. Peace.